drawn that time to keep pace with Brunei DPMM at the top of the table. The last two games in the league have seen them take on Brunei DPMM and Tampanese Rovers. And Kalili. Flicked on into Sime Zuzul, has a crack at goal! Open to scoring here for Balasip Khalsa! Within the first two minutes of the game, he's got his fourth goal of the season. Scoring the first goal for Balasip Khalsa. Straightforward Kalsa. ball over the top there. Nice. They don't deal with it immediately, Albrecht Nagata. Allow the ball to bounce and bobble around. Headed on into the path of Sime Zuzul. And it's a lovely composed finish. Takes it's a lovely delivery by Yamazaki. Decent attempt at goal. Pushed away by Nakiudin. Got his angles well covered, Nakiudin. Once he do win the ball. Quick play again from Elbrex. Nakagawa. Lovely run into the box. Almost afraid to put in a challenge there. Tanabe finds the ball through into Kamata. Off the crossbar there. And O'Hara can put away the rebound. Lovely play from Albrecht Nigata once again. Flowing football from the Japanese side. Into the penalty area and it's a quick pass into Kamata. Just peels away from that defensive pressure. Couldn't quite get it on target there. By that Albrecht's midfield. Nakagawa's got space again. Kamata. Oh, this could be it for Albrecht. No, he needed to go across the face of goal there, Akit. But again, that movement through midfield is absolutely superb. And behind Ballester's midfield, there's Yamazaki that chose to carry the ball forward to encourage Huzaifa to step across to make a challenge. The side that's playing a very low block. Get quick movement of the line. Players position in between the lines. Zamani! What an opportunity that was for Albrex. For me, doesn't look it, but he will be feeling frustrated. But they haven't found the equaliser just yet. He just needed to touch it past Nakiudin, really. Back to Sasahara. It's 2-1-2 two two here. But it's worked its way into Nakagawa. It's to create a little bit of space for a shot. And goal! Lovely strike there from Kaishu Yamazaki. Comes to him and he cracks it into the back of the net first time. Looks like the serious injury, but as it comes to him, there's the shot initially that gets blocked by Ahmad Shahir. It's a beautiful strike from Kaishu Yamazaki. I mean, he takes it first time. <laughs> well, they will be looking for to close that gap on DPMM at the top of the table. Just put that little bit of pressure on the Bruneians. And Nakagawa drives into the box once again, gets it onto his right foot. Last ditch defending from Belisar. Okay, that's a lovely strike into the back of the net. Albarax 2, Ballester Kalsa 1. What a turnaround here. Excellent strike, wonderful technique, but it's that ball again in behind Ballester's midfield. Great work from Nakagawa, who really has been driving things in attack for Albarax. To try and get it forward though. O'Hara does well there, just to head it back. Nakagawa, he's got an option on the right of him. It's three on one here. Nakagawa decides to have a go at goal himself. He backs himself and it's three to Elberex here. Surely game over now. Three points to the defending champions here at Bishan Stadium and he's deserved the goal has Nakaza Nakagawa. From the number 25, he had a couple of options to his left in Hiraga, to his right in Norakid. We worked very hard today, really, really worked very hard today. We stu stuck to the game plan. We knew that this was going to be the cause of the game. We knew that we had to, to, to defend with all our might and defend with our lives. But uh, again, a uh, little bit of lack of concentration cost us the, 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 the equaliser and then eventually we just wanted to go and get another goal uh, and then everything just uh, open up for, for Albirex, but I think today the boys did very, very well in terms of uh, putting in the hard work, all right? I think, uh, and, and, and the, re the results wasn't really fair, of course, to, to me, but that's just how it is. Yeah.